donation process can be long and tricky. Things need to match up just perfectly, and because of that, a recipient could wait years to receive what they need. For one employee at Clovis Community, her life changed thanks to a sister who wouldn't take no for an answer. I, I actually prefer to be at work. <laughs> I guess it's normalcy, I guess. For Julia Mua, normal hasn't been normal for about three years. You know, I just want to have more energy. She suffers from IgA nephropathy and FSGS, which basically means she has a lot of scarring and dead tissue in her kidneys. She needs a new one. Everything in my body was out of whack. And it's been tough, but Julia wants to be there for her patients at Clovis Community's Wound Center. I mean, I know that she just gets a little tired. But even her manager, Cherise De Lucia, says Julia does it all. Look how pretty she looks. <laughs> with a smile on her face. Her work ethic has not changed one bit. Her dedication to her patients has not changed at all. Um, the way that she supports her, her coworkers and her team, um, it's, it's, it has, nothing's changed. Julia says she tried to keep her diagnosis from her family, too. She has a big one, eight siblings total. You know, it was hard growing up with such a big family, especially, you know, we're, you know, it's just a bunch of girls, you know, we're always fighting over everything, and especially on the oldest, they were always taking my stuff. <laughs> but now, instead of taking, one is giving back. I am donating one of my kidney to my older sister. <laughs> Jessica Mua says finding out her sister was hurting wasn't easy. We we're, were all shocked, you know what I mean? We didn't expect that to happen. But I didn't want to burden them with that decision because I felt like um, my kidney disease, it just came out of nowhere. And I was afraid that, you know, it could happen to them also because they don't know how I ended up with it. But as family members do. We weren't going to have it. No, it was not going <laughs> to make it. So we were like, no, we're going to go behind her back, you know, look through papers to see where she's, you know, located with the transplant. And we're going to register to, to go and get tested. It was a match. I just want, you know, our family to be, you know, a whole. Finally, Julia's new kidney within reach. As before, you know, it was just talk, you know, for so long. The sisters will head to a transplant center in Northern California for the procedure. You know, there's a lot of medications involved, uh, making sure that the kidney does work, that there's no rejection. And I would do the same thing should the, you know, situation be reversed. And it's a gift made even better by sisters sharing a life-saving bond. I mean, I would do anything for my family, so. Julia's surgery was at the end of June, and good news, everything went as planned. She'll be off work a few more months, but the girls report everyone is feeling happy, healthy, and ready to move on. Coming up, why new parents are being urged to get baby as close as possible. The benefits of skin to skin, after this.